it has been trained to be inspired by the old masters and 19th century portraiture. So it is looking, as an artist would, um, to its predecessors. So it is actually a very interesting moment where someone is training a machine to look at art history. This is why this is so great. Um, and what we're seeing is the algorithms are learning as they go. So what we see will never be the same. The stream of images keeps changing. And as it goes, you see how the ch faces change, but you also see some errors happening. Um, so as the image moves, sometimes you get some pixels. That's the machine learning and thinking. So what we're seeing is as if someone's brain was being exposed to us and they're thinking about the images that they want to use. That's what's happening here. There definitely is an element of random in it, of course, and that's, that's why we, we really cannot control what images go up there. And in the same way, Mario can't control it. He has programmed, he has trained the artwork to do something. In the same way as when we study or when we go to university and are trained in painting, there is, we can all be trained in the same way, but the artworks that we will produce will never be the same. There is a concept behind it, there is uh, a thought process um, and it is producing these amazing images um, that are actually inspired by and based in other predecessors, old, art, old uh, masters, so yes, absolutely. It is an untested territory, so it, it, we can't really predict exactly what will happen, but the fact that there is institutional support already is a good indicator that there is a wider part of the market, of the whole industry that's looking at AI as something that is a reflection of the times that we live in. Um, this is artists looking at the technology available and using it to create and in incorporating all of that into their own creation process.